Indian inflation is expected to top 5% for the first time since August 2016 when CPI data for December comes out later today. Bloomberg's Anirban Nag joins us now from Mumbai. Anirban, you know, what does this mean in terms of this juggling act at the Reserve Bank? Yeah, that's right. Part of the reason, of course, for this spike in inflation is the rise in housing costs for the millions of government officials who got a, pram, who got a pay hike last year. Now, that should drive core inflation also higher, and that will make the RBI very, very uncomfortable. Having said that, the spike in inflation was expected by the RBI, which expected inflation to move around 4.3 to 4.7 for the second half of the financial year. Now, but what this means for the RBI, also, of course, is that it probably will get a bit more hawkish as far as monetary policy goes in the coming months. Uh, you know, this comes at a time that the Indian economy is still struggling to recover from uh, the cash ban and, of course, in the GST as well. So, you know, what is the RBI struggling to do to terms, in terms of balancing pretty low levels of growth with rising prices? That's true. You know, there, there is the threat of stagflation looming. But what the authorities are telling us that the worst of growth pangs are behind us and that the economy should be recovering in the next few uh, months. That's partly because of the bank recapitalization plan, which should unclog credit channels and demand for loans from companies which are keen to invest should pick up. Now, until that should, you know, what the authorities are betting on, that, that should see demand-side inflation picking up. But all that, that also means that for the RBI, they become even more cautious. And the market is increasingly getting to the view that the next possible uh, move should be a hike rather than any other um, cut that uh, some of the economists are still expecting. What are the implications when it comes to the bond market, though? Oh, well, the bond market has seen a fair bit of sell-off in the past few months, and that's not surprising at all, you know, given the inflation outlook. Plus, oil prices are, are, are moving higher, so that should even stoke inflationary pressures even more. And, of course, there are concerns that because of the slowing growth, revenues will uh, uh, slow, and that should see the fiscal deficit come under pressure, uh, which means that the government will borrow more, which means more supplies. So the bond investors who were betting on more fiscal consolidation and better government finances on the part of the Modi government are kind of a little bit wary and have been selling bonds in the past few weeks and months.